All right, guys, welcome. Um, I don't know if you've, if you've seen any of my videos, great. If you haven't, I work on different projects in my shop, and I just videotape the stuff I work on in the shop, maybe in the yard, maybe in the house. Throw it on the internet. But anyway, we're going to talk about welding helmets today and the evolution of welding helmets. I made a video a while back. I was kind of very unhappy with a welding helmet, and... Uh, they're not very well designed when it comes to tight places. So we're going to kind of go over the evolution of my welding helmets in the shop and a review of a welding face shield helmet, goggles, whatever you want to call it, that uh, uh, was provided to me by me. I bought it on Amazon. So uh, we'll get to that and uh, let's see what you think. Just a really quick update because uh, the guy doing the rest of this review forgot to mention what this even is uh, you can't get good help anymore but anyway this is a yes welder face mask it is made by yes welder I'll put a link in the description because the description of the digits is it's according to this it's an x 3 w 2 rk 5 I'll put a link on second thought if I look at the item, it has a number on it. It is a LY-100R. Again, I'll put a link. Okay, so here on the fender we have three helmets. This one here, as you can see, is a pretty generic. Yeah, ignore the stuff on it, but it's pretty generic. This is pretty much what they are now. Uh, they come complete with the double chin, the Cro-Magnon brow, and the enlarged forehead as well. Very annoying when it comes to tight places. I don't use this one very often unless I'm just welding out in the open. Which led to the next iteration. This one here was, I was very frustrated when I was welding. I kept bumping into things. Uh, you, you just, you, you know how it is. You get very frustrated. So what I did was, is I removed the chin I removed the brow, and I also moved the pivot point. I moved it up at one point, and I actually moved it in. Because the way this is designed, this thing puts it so far out in front of your face that, you know, it's it's in a different time zone, you know, when you're going to weld. And, you know, so that means everything's way, way far away from you. Um, now, this one here does not have uh, the little clips to put the uh, cheater lenses in there. And I hope you can see that, but uh, let's see. Let me look over here. Now, you can see, I just took the mounting screws out and uh, put some different screws in and put a cheater lens in there and made it fit. And unfortunately, this one and this one doesn't have the little clips for it. Uh, I do have in mind a replacement that is actually made by this company, they, this other company. They have one that I like, that I put on my Christmas list. But uh, So now, we come to this one here. As you can see, we've evolved a little bit. We don't have the big chin. We don't have the big brow at the top and we don't have anything sticking out because when you put this up against your face you don't have all of that stuff sticking way out it stays nice and tight to your face far better design far far better design than the traditional helmet um i will say that yes it's dirty i've been using this uh i bought this whatever prime day was uh it was on sale i got it and I will say I've been using it uh, quite a bit, and for the most part, I like it. It has its good and bad points, but I'd say for the most part, this is this makes life so much easier when you're welding in tight places. So uh, let me kind of move here and uh, get a little up close of it. Okay, now, as you can see, this has a, a big shield and what looks like goggles, because that's essentially what it is. And most things, I will use it like this. Because I do want to keep the stuff off my face. I don't want to get, you know, burns on my face. Um, if I was using this without this face shield attached, I would get one of those, looks like a painter sock, but it's black, has UV resistance, so you don't get burns on your skin. Um, but essentially, this thing just pops out of here. It just snaps right in. There you go. 
So that's just a little plastic shield. Toss that over there. Essentially, it's just like a pair of goggles. It's just a pair of goggles. And uh, I... The only... I will say there's one issue I do have with it. And that is when it comes to right here. I'll get really close. This point right in here. Now, when you have these on, there is some little sharp, little nubbies there. And depending on how you wear them, they can kind of hit your nose just a little bit. I wish that uh, this little rubber piece was just extended a little bit more or they reshape this rubber piece down here. Maybe add a flange coming out this way. Um, that's, to be honest, that's my only complaint about these. Um, and I'm probably going to smooth this out and just, I'll put a pad of some sort on there just to have a little extra. Uh, if you wondered how it looks from the inside out, here you go. And as you can see, you can see really well through these. That's more like just wearing sunglasses when it is in its un, you know, unshaded mode. Uh, it, it goes right to shade just like you want it to. Uh, I have no issues with the adjustments on the side. It just works. But uh, I'll get in here and I'll show you why I like these over a regular helmet. Okay, so now I'm in the hole, which is barely big enough for an engine. And these Mustangs just had very, very small engine compartments. And it's tight. Not as tight as the stuff on the outside, which I'll show you that on the outside, where a, store, a standard helmet would never work. But say I put this on, okay? I go here, put this on. I come like this. I go to work on stuff. And already, right there. Look at that. You know, that's going to annoy the crap out of you. It just sticks out way too far. You bump into things. They're just not well designed. Kind of like my placement of my phone over there that you guys are watching what you're, what's going on. So, I've been using this for quite some time now. And uh, I've actually kind of worn out the little strap already, which is, that's me, because I, I destroy things. That's just me. So here, you know, we go with these goggles on. You know, look at that. Oh, man, look at that. I can get way up in here and, oh, yeah, I tapped a little bit because I was overdoing it. But look at this. I can get way down in here. I mean, I can get my nose right into things with this on here. With that big monstrosity, there's no way. Now, the better illustration of this, I'll show you in just a second. I have to crawl out from here, take this fender off, and we'll look at this again. Okay, here we are. We are outside the wheel well, anyway. But I recently added some plates to this, reinforcement plates, and there's a welding position in here that if I was using this helmet here, you can't see a thing. So let me just kind of show you that. Now, okay, so here we go. There's a weld bead down in here. It is way down in there. Now, okay, so I put the torch in here. It's like, oh, you hold the torch up. It's like, oh, yeah, man, I could do that. No big deal. This is my add-on light, which is unplugged at the moment. That's my own thing, but I'll get it out of the way. Let's say you're going to weld this. I'm going to put my helmet down. I'm already running into crap. Just doing that, I'm already running into stuff and getting frustrated. So now I can get to here. Yeah, look at that. Boom. And and you're and then it shoves it down. See, and then when you do get in there, it shoves it down like this because you've got space for another person in there. Again, horrible design. Really? Why? Why? Come to this little guy. I put this on. Look at that. Hopefully I'm gonna get you where you can see that. Oh, that might help. Okay, so now look at this. Oh wow, look at this. I can get my eyes, my head right up in there to see what I'm doing. 
Look at that. Isn't that novel? You can actually see what you're doing because this thing isn't a huge monstrosity. Now, I, I don't know how the long term is going to be on this. Here, you can look at me. But I, I don't know what it's going to be like in the long term. And, and frankly, I, I don't really care. If this thing lasted two or three years and I had to buy another one, I, I don't care because it works so much better than one of these kind of things. They have their place. But this has kind of a specialty niche place. And for the stuff that I'm doing, this tends to be a whole lot more useful than one of these where you're welding at a desk. So, you know, would I buy it again? Oh yeah, definitely I would buy this again. Um, it just works. I can get into th things to see it. The uh, the color is this is more of the the blue tinge, whatever they call the true view or something like that. Uh, I can put these on and I can walk around and it's just like wearing sunglasses. It doesn't darken your view so much that you you know you can't see what you're doing. You can see the where you're going to start the weld far better than you can with the green lenses or the kind of purplish green that one of these things is. So. I think I paid, I don't, I don't know, I don't even remember now, but it was on sale on Prime Day. You could probably dig that up and find it, but uh, the only issue I have, like I said, is that little nub right there, and I forgot one more issue, is that there is not a cheater lens that fits this because of the shape. That said, I'm going to buy another cheater lens, and I'm just going to cut it, and I'm going to make it go in there, because having a cheater lens... Even if you have really good eyesight, that means that you don't, you, 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 you know, if you, you're in a position where you've got a weld, you know, way out away from you, well, you know, you've got, I, you know, where you just physically can't get to it, even if with this you couldn't get your head into it. The fact that it just magnifies it, it makes the weld pool bigger. You can see more of what you're doing. And the closer you are, the better that is. You just get to see what you're doing in, you know, bigger. So, that would be the one thing that I would like to see them do is maybe redesign this to where you could put a, uh, a regular cheater lens in there or come out with your own cheater lenses. I'll buy them. There's two little screws. It'll mount right in there. So, yeah, that's kind of my review on it. It works. I like it. I'd buy it again. Okay, really quick addendum. I kind of forgot something. Yes, it comes in a box. It's over there. It's a box. Who cares? It comes in a bag. Now, it's kind of nice. I do store it in here. But somebody explain to me, how does this work? Uh, I, 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 I don't get it. It's got, it, and it, it gets shorter and it gets smaller. And I, I'm, I'm so confused by this bag. Um, and, and, and then it gets tangled. I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, you hold it. Too many straps. I mean, you, you go like that, and it looks like a little kid's backpack. I, if you got a, like a, a five-year-old, I mean, maybe a great backpack, but you know, or maybe you're supposed to wear it like this in your chest or something. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, you, we keep your welding helmet in front of you. I, I don't know. This is just such a weird bag. Yeah. I, I don't get it. I don't. 